how are you doing thank you so much for watching thank you for always supporting me today i'm going to do a very quick video and i'll be answering questions that are leading to commercial modeling what is commercial modeling i feel like this uh, commercial modeling tends to confuse many people hence why i keep on getting questions like can short people model can plus size people model can you know how tall should you be in terms of uh, for you to become a commercial model worry worry out my friends say worry out anyway do not worry commercial modeling is very broad it doesn't it doesn't have many restrictions like other types and categories of modeling why am i saying this let's talk about safaricom a case study safaricom there is they've done so many adverts with children adverts um with grandmothers advert with plus size people you call them big people we call them in the modeling world um plus size so it's very very broad what does that tell us it tells us that commercial model is anyone if you can speak like anyone it doesn't even matter anyone can be a commercial model and it doesn't matter height weight body type all those things that you've been asking me it does not matter when it comes to commercial modeling i keep on giving myself as an example i am 57 height wise and my body type i'm size 10 small and i tend to have i'm quite hip, hippie i'm quite hippie so i'm not skinny at all maybe while seated like this you might think i'm skinny but i'm not i'm not small I'm not small and I'm not big either. I'm size 10 small and yet I've been a commercial model since 2014 and I'm sure I've, I've talked about this in my previous videos trying to, you know, explain about myself and how I became a model. So what am I trying to tell you? I'm trying to tell you that you can be a commercial model. Anyone can be a commercial model. And the cut line for commercial modeling is they look for your personality. They look at your personality. Sorry about that. They look at your personality and that's it. So let's say they're looking for someone who is bubbly, someone who is talkative, that's your personality. And that's what the clients look for, depending on who the client is and what they want to promote. Um, I've given this example before, but please allow me to give it again. I did a commercial advert with uh, a Guinness and Guinness, it, had, it wanted anyone. There were so many people who had come for auditions, big, small, short, name them. You know, and they weren't looking at your body type or how short you are or how big you are or how curvy you are. They wanted someone who is outgoing, someone who is bubbly, you know, someone who can do an activation. Actually, that's what it was about. It was all about. So the scene was in a bar or someone who is seated in a bar with a beer and they wanted someone, a promotional girl, to come and award that particular person who was drinking uh, Guinness uh, with a present He's, he had won something so that one of course you can't go and hand it over to him like this or to her like this they wanted something like this you see so it had it had sorry that was a bit dramatic it it didn't have they didn't care about your body if you were able to pull that off then you get the role another one is a safaricom I did which is called hater Brenda I'll try and look, look for links of a photo and show you hater brenda they wanted someone who is mean you know someone who hates on everyone and everything why am i saying that i'm saying that for you to see they were not looking at your body they were not looking how tall you are they're not looking at how i don't know light skin you are or dark skin you are they just wanted to someone whose personality can portray someone who is mean you know so this is what i this is what i did during my audition they wanted someone face your face to show meanness <laughs> so this is what i did um some girl walking in yeah and i was supposed to hate on that girl so how you size them up then you're like that's it so you really have nothing to worry about but however you need to be able to um not perform really but you need to be able you can't afford to be shy when you're a commercial model you cannot afford to be shy let me repeat that again if you want to be a commercial model work on your personality be flexible be able to you know laugh and this is something that i've learned over time during uh, 2014 when i just started my modeling i wasn't really i wasn't that i wasn't this of course 
you know, so sometimes they could tell me smile and I'm like, no, I can't smile. So I'll give that, you know, I'll give that fake smile, you know. Then I learned how to work around that. So when I want to smile, what do I do? <laughs> you see, laugh, then it comes out. And I've done so many other adverts that they just wanted someone who can laugh like that. And this one, I'm sure you can laugh, right? I mean, we can all laugh. So I'm really trying to make you understand that anyone watching this video can be a commercial model. Anyone and everyone, it does not have restrictions. So don't wait, don't look at yourself and be like, oh my God, but I don't have the hair. Oh my God, I can't do this. No, 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 no. Commercial modeling is not that. You want to be a commercial model? It's very accommodative. You can be a commercial model. Don't wait any longer. So let me know if you have uh, more questions on commercial modeling, but I'm really insisting that stop second guessing yourself, stop doubting yourself, stop, I don't know, this notion that people have that models have to be, you know, certain type of body or they have to be, you know, no, 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 no. For commercial modeling, it doesn't have all that. Yeah, so you have everything that you need to start your career as a commercial model. Thank you for watching, leave comments below and I'll get back to you.